YouTube. Look, I cut wood. I'm really proud of me cut wood. Um. <laughs> These pieces of wood used to be a meter to a meter twenty tall. Um, which is, which was too long with what I needed, because what these are, these are going to be, um, little, uh, poster clamps for big poster boys I'm going to hang up on the wall over here, um, they're really tall poster. Um, these ones, that these ones aren't cut incorrectly, by the way, these are specifically like that. These ones are supposed to be cut in half, and they aren't perfect, they are not perfect at all, uh, but they're close enough, which is great. These ones are specifically cut like this, because this poster was, uh, 61 centimeters tall, 61 centimeters, and of course the, the poles were a meter 20, which is, you know, 60 plus 60, which is why these are just in 60s, and this one's 61, and then this one's 59. So 61 and 59, 61 59, because these are going to go on the front, so that there's no visible overhang of the poster. I'm going to explain more of it when I actually finish off this in next week's vlog, um, because I'm going to do the cutting of and the full assembly of the rest of my... Um, poster hangers. I've also bought all of these guys, which is going to be in next week's vlog as well, um, because I'm going to be hanging up a whole bunch of posters that I got from BronyCon. So yeah, okay, so that's context for that. Um, I'm just really proud of the fact that I managed to cut wood, because I haven't touched a wood saw in a productive light, in a productive light. I, I haven't actually held a saw um, in the pur in, in, with the purpose of cutting wood since, like, year eight and that's when the last time I was in woodworking so <laughs> I'm happy that I actually remembered enough to one be able to cut the wood and two not cut off any of my fingers I've still got all ten digits I was close to but I didn't anyway so g'day collaborators and welcome to Saturday um, a lot more stuff happened this week and I'm really happy that this week actually happened because last week I decided that I was gonna take a week off to just a week off of my main job just to be able to do stuff. Just to do stuff that I haven't been able to do for the past few weeks because of my main job. Um, and that stuff included Penthouse. I have, I think, almost fully lit the scene. I just need to, I, I think I just need to do the eye glow and hypno effects again, and that's about it. Um, and then that means I can go move on to the camera, the camera settings one, and then I'm gonna do a time lapse of me just fixing up the rest, just the little tiny things afterwards, and that's gonna be uh, penthouse fully done. And once penthouse is fully done, I can start work on the tutorial series and just have a look, just have a look. These, these are my voice recordings of the tutorial series. And you see where it starts, all at part one, and all the way down to part 10, which is the lighting with Red Ace. So, there you go. <laughs> a whole bunch of uh, editing for me in the future. But I'm hopefully going to be able to get that on by at least, if not this Christmas, the next Christmas. Because it's a massive project and it could be um, the, the, you know, the 12 days of Christmas. Well, this is the 12 tutorials of Christmas. <laughs> anyway, so that's, that's that. Um, that's my update for animation. My other update is for video games. Um, that is the game that I'm creating. I am, I, I managed to actually finish the AI for the game. I've, I've finished the AI. Um, which is, which is really funny, because like, just real talk real quick for all of my, all of my prospective programmers in the audience. Let's just, let's just put this so my post is a center frame. Anyway, all of my prospective programmers in the audience, um, who are too, like, fearful of AI because it's AI and like, oh, it's scary. Okay. There is nothing intelligent about AI. It's all artificial. There is no intelligence, especially not with our current implementation of AI. Um, like even machine learning, it's there's nothing intelligent about it. All it is is just. Well, I mean, oh, sorry, sorry. I meant <laughs> the implementation, actually programming of the intelligent, the AI is in fact intelligent. But what I'm saying is that it doesn't have its own intelligence. The intelligence part is not actually intelligence. <laughs> it's just all it is is just. Um, trying something, assigning that something to a score, and then modifying your next something based on whether or not the previous something went well or not. That's the basic concept behind machine learning and behind AI, like especially pathfinding. Pathfinding is so easy because all it is is just, is this direction going to get me to a position that's closer to where I'm wanting to go than this direction, or this direction, or this direction? And whichever direction will make me go closer to where I wanted to go, that's the way you go. 
and if you want, and, and my, my, my game is grid based, which makes pathfinding so much easier because now all it is is just, is this node closer to the goal, or is this node closer to the goal, or is this node closer to the goal, or is that node closer to the goal, I should put it like that. So, is the, the top right, down, or left closer to the goal, and if it is, go that way, you go to that node, and that's all it is, it's, that's, that's, the, that's the magic of pathfinding in AI, and if you're struggling about it, congratulations, I've just warped your mindset to be able to say, hey, I don't have to be struggling about this anymore, <laughs> that's, that's all you have to do, just change the conceptualization of it, and there you go, it's done, full stop. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, so that means that I am very much closer, a lot more confident, a lot more closer to, like, to actually getting that, um, uh, that prototype done than what I was expecting to be. Because uh, I thought the AI was going to be the hardest part, and it's not. <laughs> it really isn't, especially not the way I implemented it. Anyway, the next thing... What else did I want to say? Um, I recently filmed parts 10 to 15 of my Homeworld Let's Play, and I got really angry on the 15th one, uh, because the way that the last mission uh, was was happened really really annoyed me. I got really frustrated in my primate brain. I got really angry in my primate brain because there was a lot of information, a lot of information that it was giving me, and none of it what I wanted. So there you are. And the, all the information that it gave me was just how noisy the fucking planet is. <laughs> anyway, um, so yeah, <sighs> updated on the animation, updated on the game projects, updated on I guess gameplay. That's not really as important. Um, what next? I don't think. I don't think there's anything else to say, so I will leave you with that. Thank you so much for keeping up to date with me. Uh, I will see you next week. This is Cool Amanar signing off. Goodbye and good luck. Alrighty. Good o. Good o.